Good morning, folks. Yet another fireball. This one seen over the U.S. East Coast last night. Just as an FYI, there has not been a significant fireball the officials had on their near-Earth object list. They also add new ones after they pass Earth on a regular basis. But enough cynicism. Got the latest drought look for you here, sticking just west and south of Center Continental. There's been a call for a C-2012 S1 update, better known as Comet Ison. Without any new info, I can only review a bit. But I'll start with my request that NASA turn one of the stereo spacecraft to monitor the comet. Why? Marker tracks Ison's position here. As I move the dates forward, you'll notice we are one month from no visibility due to the sun. Now NASA flipped a satellite to watch Elenin, which they claimed was nothing important, but refused to do so for Ison when they've actually speculated as to the potential grand showing by this comet. And at the time it disappears behind the sun, it will fly through the northern part of the asteroid belt. Any changes to trajectory would be good to know, especially with its close approach to Mars. I have a number of other videos with background info on Ison if you want to go find them. Rain has left Australia on its way to New Zealand. Only Euro watches are for rain in the UK and Northern Ireland. Bay of Bengal coastline appears to be getting hammered every single day. Here and southeast seems to have the worst weather and quakes. No major western lows, in fact the primary cell here lies up in Canada. The southern tail extension will bring a convergence tonight and the potential for strong storms east of the zone marked here, which is yesterday's. It's moving right. Looking at the solar wind, we see a density rise a few hours ago, followed now by speedier particles and some major heat on them in green. Gakona is still down, but the USGS magnetometer chain is on point showing only minor disturbance, along with a Canadian chain. Minor. Yesterday's three-day GOES plot shows a slow and steady rise, and so far today we continue the trend. My money is on increased flaring. It's not because of our baby boy all grown up, although he may fire as he crests. It's not because we have a mature umbra near the equator turning in now. It's the southeastern development that has me ready to stare at the GOES all weekend. Not only are we crowded, mature, and well mixed up magnetically, but if you take your eyes to the very limb, you see the biggest boys are just cresting now. Earth's primary magnetic connection to the sun has shifted further to the backside and to the south. Normal individual conductivity, half on the primary connection and half spread across the Earth facing disk. Looking at the umbral field, about to be fully open in an Earth facing position. You'll remember we already see the southern aspect facing Earth. Jupiter has almost conjoined the sun. The northern aspect is turning in now and we already caught our first big quake at this opening. Here comes the big dog. Got full disk shots, some calm filaments, and others that are not so calm. Rounded up by 171 angstroms trained on our new guys. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.